Well, you know, um, my district uh, doesn't change drastically. Uh, you know, of course, there's only going to be, it looks like, two days of public hearings, which, you know, if the maps were just released, you know, we're kind of waiting to see how those go. You know, the big question, though, is how these work statewide and, you know, what rationale did they use? Um, are they looking at minority representation? Are they keeping districts compact? I have some concerns with some of the districts that I've seen. Squares and rectangles seem to be a thing of the past. I mean, we've got a lot of districts that are elongated. They take in the numerous communities. They go across the state. You know, so some of that concerns me. So I'm interested in seeing some of the data and um, the things that support uh, the rationale behind this map. Everyone's talking about that, um, the process. Everyone's critiquing how the process has gone here. I mean, yeah, yeah they have the public hearing coming up, but then again, they're saying there's not really enough public input in this. Well, what do you say to that? Sure. Whole process? Well, I mean, as a new guy down here in Springfield, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of an interesting process. I, I don't blame the Democratic Party and how they kind of, you know, they've got the map war room and they do all these things to, to look with their legislators as far as their map. But when we're talking about good government, this process is horrible. I mean, we should not have elected officials involved at all in the map making. It should be residents of the state on a bipartisan basis looking at how do we keep communities together and create strong maps that are best for representation that keep people who are similar together. I mean, that should be the main goal uh, behind map making. So this process is, you know, I think flawed from the beginning. Any other changes? Did did you get squeezed in with with another representative, or what? What does the uh, Senate sure. version? Yeah. Uh, well, my district itself right now has me uh, with another current representative in the same district, um, and then uh, a new senator. Uh, they mapped out uh, Senator Severson. So, if that stays the same, obviously, you know, you've got some things there, uh, and there seems to be a lot of districts that lumped. Uh, Republican representatives together so again you kind of wonder well was this more political or were they really looking at strong rationale for creating good geographical districts so but we'll wait and see how the you know if there's any new tweaks or final versions that come out. Representative is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no it, I just hope you know maybe after this remap we can really look at this you know for the future in 10 years you know, how can we create a better system in Illinois that's really just fair for residents.